This is funny. <laughs> what up? I'm Fat Tony and this is Thrift Hall, a competitive fashion show where two people compete to find the best outfit on a budget. We're at the Goodwill, waiting on everybody else to get here. But in the meantime, let's see what we can find. I like to find stuff that fits my personality, stuff that kind of reminds me of growing up back in the 90s, you find a lot of shit here that is one of a kind. I don't want to walk out dressed like every other goofball in Silver Lake. I want to have my own style. Shit like this, like pretty much everything that's on my body, thrifted. What up, it's Fat Tony, and on today's Thrift Hall, we got a first date episode. Featuring contestant one, rapper Buddy, and contestant two, comedian Molly Mitchell. The contestants go head to head for three rounds. First round, fashion trivia. Second round, running through the thrift store, finding an outfit. And a third round, a haul show. Guess Judge, John Early, and I decide who wore the best outfit. Who's, who's that? Buddy! Now, I understand y'all both preparing for a first date, right? Why is this date important to you? I just turned 30. I know. And soon, I'm gonna be lightly loved, like one of those shirts up in there. I'm trying to find a forever home. So first, I gotta find me a forever man. That's why I'm trying to come correct tonight. I feel like my day should be trying to impress me. Here's what's at stake. The winner gets to keep their outfit and the loser has to return theirs in shame. But that's not all. The winner gets to choose an outfit for the loser that they must take a pic of, put it on their Instagram, and they cannot delete it. This is gonna be a good game. This is gonna be a good game. <laughs> what would you wear on your first date? Nothing. What do you want your first date to wear? Nothing. Buddy, do you fuck with thrifting? Nah. <laughs> Molly? Yes, of course. Reduce, reuse, recycle. I came here today to win. I'm like the Beyonce of lightly used blouses. I feel confident and I feel ready. Buddy, who do you think is gonna win today? Well, see, so you got goodwill and you got God's will. <laughs> and it shall be done. Ready for round one? Trivia. Now, each of you start with two minutes on the clock. Get an answer correct and you get 30 seconds added to your time. Ooh. The loser don't get shit. AKA you. Okay. Question one, what amusement park had a lingerie store when they first opened? Is it A, Universal Studios, B, Disneyland, C, Magic Kingdom, or D, Cedar Point? Go. Molly, you got it. Disneyland. When they first opened in 1955, the store on Main Street featured the wonderful Wizard of Bras. No. Real shit. According to a study published in the European Journal of Social Psychology, what color makes people feel the most sexually attractive? A, pink, B, green, C, black, or D, red? Go. Molly, you got it. We're gonna add 30 seconds on Molly's clock for the first answer and another 30 seconds on the clock for her second answer. Damn. Which streetwear brand is known for its distinctive red box logo and is a favorite of both Odd Future and Bargain Baller Tabasco Suite? Is it A, Vans, B, Levi's, C, Vision Streetwear, or D, Supreme? Go. Molly, you got it. Oh, it's not Levi's? It's not Levi's, Pen. I'm sorry. I'm trash at this trivia shit. Yeah, we haven't got one good. right, damn. <laughs> Gwen Stefani is dating Blake Shelton. What's the name of Gwen Stefani's fashion line? So they just wanted to let us know she went out with Blake. <laughs> that has nothing to do with the question. <laughs> is it A, M-U-L-E, B, B-A-N-A-N-A-S, C, L-A-M-B, or D, G-S-B-S. -S. Go. Molly, you got it, goddammit. The answer is L-A-M-B. It's not bananas? Bonus points if you can yeah. tell me what it stands for. Oh. I did it, thank you. Loud, attitude, mommy, bad girl. Something of that That's nature. a better name, but it's actually Love Angel Music Baby. I thought it was bananas. The winner is Molly. She gets two minutes added to her clock, bringing her to a total of four minutes in the store. Buddy starts with his original time of two minutes. Now Molly, as the winner, you get to choose. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go in first, or do you want to send Buddy in there and peep his strategy? I'm going to send my man in there first. Two minutes, I got two minutes. You got two minutes in the Goodwill. Let's get it. Where'd you get your shirt? A good man is hard to find? I got this shirt at Squaresville and Los Feliz. A hard man is good to find. I really love the faceless guy. Most men are faceless in my opinion. <laughs> I thought this shirt was very appropriate for a first date, you know? Mm -hmm. Good man is hard to find. I think Molly's looking for one. Uh, who knows if she's gonna get it? 
Well, that outfit, I think she's in luck. I'm John Early, and this is Tony's show. <laughs> What's up with your shirt? I, this is a thrift store find from Nashville, Tennessee, when I was like 16 years old, mm -hmm. so four, four years ago. David Copperfield, he's making the Statue of Liberty disappear, and I do think he has been accused of rape. So I'm wearing it ironically. Um, this is a lampshade that I'm taking from Goodwill today. I'm paying for it um, because I'm gay. I got two minutes, y'all. I got two minutes. That's all I need. I'm being there like, looking for shit like. Let's do this. One, two, three. Come on, buddy. That's a good technique until you take out a pedestrian. <laughs> Okay. When I'm prepping for a first date, all I'm thinking is, will I be having anal? Mm. So I, I look for something baggy, loose, loose, loose fitting. Yeah. Of course, a corduroy. Okay, what has he picked out? A brown tea? Oh, I like this. Oh my God, I love this. Serving Hannah and her sisters. Yes. Diane Weiss and Hannah and her sisters. <laughs> it's really about Diane Weiss and her career, not about him. What do you think about a hat? Did he just get the hat? Yeah, he just I love a, I love a splash of denim. But what is he doing Forward. wasting time in the mirror? He's, just, he's confident. He's yeah, very, he's very enough. confident. So take note. His confidence is making me feel shook. She has way more time. She has four minutes. Why? Oh, like one is like ten, eight, around. Oh, seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Congrats, buddy. Buddy, how'd you do? What you got? First of all, Pete the coat. Dicky, hello. Wow. Mama, look at you. <laughs> okay. Loose. The dookie course, the dookie. I hold it down for the brown. Trust the room that way. I think he shopped very impulsively, which is something I cannot do. So I'm really just seething with jealousy right now. I do feel more nervous after having watched that than before. Molly's up next. Let's get it. I didn't say this in the trivia round, but. I went pretty deep into the Yelp reviews last night in prep of this show, so yeah, I have a fucking strategy. I don't think Buddy, I don't think this guy even stands a chance. Molly Mitchell, you got four minutes to get your ass out there. Go! She's starting with a scarf. She don't stand a chance. Okay, Buddy. Baby's got a hell of a turning radius. Honestly, she got to catch up to Buddy, I'm sorry. I know, but she does have the four minutes. I think she's very aware of that. Yeah, she got plenty of time. Oh, she's left the cart unattended. She's, I repeat, she has left the cart unattended. Khakis? Not a good look for first date. <laughs> I don't even Sensible. See you don't think you could kind of work a norm core thing with the khakis? First day? Maybe second day when I'm relaxed. First date, I'm trying to stunt. I want to show a little ass, mm -hmm. a little ankle, you know? I always, I always do an assless chat on smart. the first date. Yeah. Smart as a way of saying, enter. <laughs> <laughs> Business casual vibes. This is the one of the rare advantages women have at all. There is more variety in clothing. Mm. They got hella more it's shit. It's more exciting. Molly, two minutes. Is she in the men's section? Why she got so much more time? Cause she got the trivia portion right. This is some more bullshit. You got every answer wrong. I didn't even get this much time. I wonder if I can use any of this money toward a gift. I feel like if I were to come with something, that could help sort of like a modern day dowry. She's in the men's section. Huh, I, I respect that. I, I really do respect Switch that. Switch it up, you know? Gender's dead. Oh, she's back. Okay, she's back. Back to the gankies. Like a moth to a flame. Come on, it's a first date, so let's keep the crazy in the closet just a little bit longer. Molly, one minute left. Thank you. Very sweet. No, too crazy, too crazy, too crazy. If I were her, I'd be just looking at accessories at this point. I want to Yeah, that. she hasn't even no, touched she them. Know. She's created a base, and now she can just add some flair. I don't know how this happens. Oh yeah, I won. <laughs> <laughs> so for my approach, I was going for kind of like a Troop Beverly Hills look. Blazer, scarf, a little shirt that suggests maybe I have a few father issues. A matching pant, so Buffalo Wild Wing is out of the question. A coat, because it's been a little chilly lately. A little pair of boots, and a casual pleather belt. So what do you think about Molly? Here's what excited me most, that tweed coat. Kind of, I go to therapy, but in the 90s look. Oh, I was really thinking the boots. Yes. It's like a freaky Annie. 
What'd you think? A freaky what? A freaky aunt, you know? Yes, absolutely. That big white shirt, was, it, was, it looked a little baggy for her. I wonder but if she's gonna freak it. I think that is the look. I think it's very like Chico's Barbara King Solver Southwestern. This is funny. <laughs> <laughs> round three coming up. It's the third round? What are we doing? You don't <laughs> understand the rules. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Buddy, show us what you got. I got the big trench on my Home Alone swag. You know, you got your canvas, your corduroy, mm. and your dinner. Mm. Mm -hmm. I ain't no snitch either. This is for the show. What? He's no snitch. Okay. He let a little shoulder go. And Can I you think tell us about the dickies? This for the Mexican homies. Because mm. I fuck with the cholos. Tell me about the brown shirt. Neath the black one. I put all these layers on because I'm going to take her somewhere cold. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm. See how she reacts. Get a little uncomfortable because that's how you grow. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I think I won. Y'all don't even need to see the other girl. I would like to see Molly. Oh. Oh. Came out with a kick. Mm. Mm. Okay, she's got the jacket with the tweed. I like that. I love that. It's going to stay warm. She's got the silk Erica Badu wrap. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about the boots. I wouldn't say that the boots fit in a conventional sense. <laughs> which is to say that they don't at all. The blazer. I feel like I'm at the beach, but also in the boardroom. I did want it to seem like maybe my mom fucked someone in the 80s who had embezzled a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Do you feel comfortable? I feel about as comfortable as a first date is. I feel that. approach. Thank you, Molly. So, John, what do you think? Buddy? Molly, there can only be one winner. It's just hard because they're right there. <laughs> <laughs> and I hate confrontation. What does your heart feel? I'm going to bet on black. I got to say buddy. I'm black too. <laughs> it's just hard because I tend to uh, champion women in my work, in my daily life. So what, what if I said Molly? What would we then do? We have to figure the fuck out. I know. Okay, let's, let's truly figure this out. Let's start with Molly. She has a cool boot, really took mm -hmm. a chance. Mm -hmm. I love the whole look. And I just feel like she really has an eye for fashion. Mm -hmm. My only con is like, it is kind of limiting her to one era. Yeah. Like it's almost too referential. I like how Buddy wore three pants. Uh -huh. So he can fit in pretty much in any situation. Like he could walk into the restaurant or whatever the fuck the date is. Yeah. Scope it out and take some shit off. I love wants. that. I lo it is very practical in that way. The coat is huge, both literally and also figuratively. It's yes, amazing. Yes. And it's very much in line with his spirit. Big personality, big coat. And so I think for that reason, I may have to say buddy and- I knew it! Didn't I say? I won, baby. <laughs> Just shows you can't count the underdog out. Color people time, baby. I'd like to remind everyone I'm also black. So what are you gonna make Molly wear on her first date? I'm gonna make her wear the wedding gown. This is my boy Trevor. He work at the Goodwill. He let us do our thing here. <laughs> hey, loser. I'll be back. <laughs> the winner gets to choose an outfit for the loser that they must take a I'm pick ready. of. She ain't gonna get no play in that. Okay, we don't know that. I don't know. This feels kind of good. Put it on their Instagram and they cannot delete it. This has been Thrift Hall. Big shout out to Buddy and Molly for fucking with us, being good sports. Comment below on who you think should have won. What should the next episode be about? A, early gentrifiers trying to come off chill in a low-income neighborhood. B, the best outfit to break up with your boyfriend in. C, coming to work hungover. <laughs> or D, 90s thing. Fuck with it. Here we are in Grand Central. I think I see my date. <laughs> Why did I say I would do this? Hi. How's it going? What is this? Do you wanna? Yeah, sit down here? I mean, okay. I'm dressed to stay for a lifetime, okay, so we cool. can definitely stay for a little while. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs>